It's a slow burning dance party here in Studio <laughs> B at WNCW. That's another track from uh, Southland Mission. We've got uh, Phil Cook playing live here in Studio B today, along with the guitar heels. Ladies, you sounding quite nice. Quite yeah, nice. thanks. So, uh, Thank I, we should uh, send some props out because this uh, record was done uh, locally, actually, recorded uh, yeah. at Echo Mountain Recording Echo Mountain Recording sure Studios was. in Asheville. How did you uh, How did you end up uh, getting turned on to to those good folks over there, and uh, what made you head it that was, direction? You know, it was like looking at um, just the credits of records that were coming out, and and just seeing that name pop up because they opened around the time when I moved down here, I think. Right. right. Um, and then I did a day trotter session there with Megaphon. And so we were in, in the API room, and, and I just remember being like, whoa, that this is really great old two-ton upright piano that's got all this ornate woodwork in it, and it's just an incredible character. I love the character of pianos. Like when I sit down at them, I really love the process of just sitting down for an hour and getting to know them. And I have favorite pianos. I have pianos that I'm kind of ticked off at. I have pianos that I'm kind of like nervous about. There's like... All characters of them, you know, it's just I can't help it. But that one I just love. So that was like my first thread. And then like five years later, I recorded there. So, right, you know. right. <laughs> have, you, have you ever done any uh, alteration, piano, prepared piano, Yeah. strange, fun stuff? Yeah, that was a lot of megaphone stuff. We did a lot of that stuff. Right. Just <laughs> yeah, hang some tin cans and nuts and washers in the piano. Yeah, and, nuts and washers yeah. and paper and, um, you know, just like, yeah. It, it's really fun. I mean, it's really fun. It makes it very percussive. So... You know, if you're just sitting there like playing on like kind of polyrhythms, it's just incredible. I mean, I had an idea once. I don't want to give this away on public radio, but I'm going to. Of right. just having Exclusive. your drummer be a prepared piano. <laughs> so yeah, just like this, you know, this huge grand piano behind like a guy with a, a guitar and like a banjo. And then the drummer's just like, you know, just playing prepared piano for drums. <laughs> Would that be kind of weird? It'd be just right. <laughs> it would be weird. Oh, that's true. Yeah. 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 Uh, have, you, uh, have you run across Marco Benevento? In yeah. your travels? Have you ever yeah. seen his little three quarter piano that he's got rigged up with yeah. all sorts of chaos inside of it? That's and, the answer, man. Yeah, it, it, that, that's pretty special as well. <laughs> so, so uh, you came came over to Echo Mountain. Were all the songs completely written at that point, or did you go uh, in there and much. have to? Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, and the band had rehearsed. Um, we rehearsed a bit going into it, which is great. Um, you know, I don't know. You came over a couple times. We sang and yeah. Um, yeah, I mean it was great. I mean, have the band all knew the tunes, which which was um, helpful. Helpful. Yes. Um, and yeah, I, I really sincerely enjoyed the whole process of working there. It was just awesome. And and then I came back to mix the record there. And so I mean, I I kind of lived in Asheville a lot. Almost like it was like I was there for two months out of that year, total of just like being here. So I ate at Doc Shays a lot. And, <laughs> right. You know. <laughs> Standard. Went to the Double Crown a lot, you know, all that fun stuff. Right, right. You've, you've got you dr- name dropping now. Oh, we'll have to send checks out. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that? Uh, would you? Uh, are you a, an artist that needs to change for the next edition? If you, uh, you know, for the next collection of tunes, are you? Would you be prone to go back to a place that is comfortable, say Echo Mountain, or would you want to risk again and try something fresh and new? I'm always going to do that jazz thing. I'm always just going to kind of like try. I mean, there's going to be parts of me that like I, I'm the thing I, I, I like knowing like my a solidity and like a comfort and a warmth in the community that I've like, you know, earned relationships with. That's where like I'll like be resting into is things like that where you just trust people that you're playing with. So, yeah, I don't. I mean, we'll see. I mean, I love it. So if if it could work out and it worked out great and that's how it. How it shook down? Great. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Well, hearing you speak about that intimacy and trust of, of friends, it must be pretty special for you to, to play music with your brother so oh, yeah. much. Oh, man. So, it, so the Cat's Cradle show um, will be there, and it will be the first time. I'm, I'm 36. My brother's 35. <laughs> the first time that my brother sat in a crowd and watched me play from the crowd That'll be the first time so far in our lives. So it's kind who's of special. Gonna be, who's going to be more nervous? That's it. I don't know. <laughs> that show, <laughs> that show uh, coming up uh, in Carbora, the Cat's uh, Cradle, on Saturday. And uh, tonight, of course, at the Moth Light, Friday, they, you are in Winston-Salem. I did not get the venue. Over there. Uh, the Southeastern Center for Contemporary Arts. Okay, okay. Yeah. And are all of these shows being opened by uh, Ryan? 
all these shows are opening by Ryan, yeah, who also plays in my band. Right, right. Dead Dead Tongues yeah. is the uh, is the opener. Uh, all that uh, once again going down tonight at the Moth Light in West Asheville. Uh, you're in tune with WNCW. Have you got one more we for do. us? All right. 